guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to come back with a new video today. I am going to be doing a haul video for Misguided Babes of Misguided. I just ordered some of their uh, Playboy collection and I wanted to share my thoughts and the review, first impression of this whole thing that's going on with Misguided. And yeah, so let's just get straight into it. Don't like to talk too much, you know, let's just Okay, so this heavy package here, I love this. They always have um, on-point packaging. Well, I just think the design on it is thoughtful than just like, you know, n nothing at all, just plain bag. But yeah, this just says Babes and Misguided. And I just wanted to say one thing that really surprised me was, let's start off by saying uh, I was expecting to pay duties, but I, did end up paying way more than I expected. This order was about 100 and it was like $200 basically. And I think I ended up paying $80 for the, no, $90, I think it was $86, yeah. So $86 for our duties here. And that, I have never gotten charged that much for a duty like charged so i don't i don't know what happened there but other than that this was really exciting to receive so let's just go ahead and open this bad boy all right so when i open it it comes with this little misguided printed paper thing and it has my order uh information on here and how to return and all that kind of stuff if i didn't end up liking it and yeah that's basically it with this little pamphlet there and ooh, we have so many goodies in front of me let's get into it first things first let's open this t-shirt oh my goodness i'm just like really excited to see all of this i've been waiting for this to arrive it took about two weeks to get to canada that's where i currently am so the playboy ones have a little playboy logo on them x misguided okay, so this is the shirt I got. Oh my God, it is so cute. So this logo is embroidered on there, so it looks really good quality. And the back side, it just says Playboy in many different colors. This shirt is so cool. Oh my goodness, it is gigantic though. What size is this? I'm pretty sure I got everything in. Yeah, this is size four. Oh, it's like a t-shirt dress, so I see. So it's really huge because I guess it's supposed to be kind of like a dress thing, but wow, this is like size XXL. I did not expect this to be this big. What is up with me and ordering things like so big? Like, man, I need to like get my sizing correct, but I'm making this mistake so you guys don't have to. Um, but you know what? I am enjoying the oversized look. This is gigantic though. But I guess the purpose of it is like a t-shirt dress, but I'm probably gonna be more wearing as a t-shirt. But yeah, let's just go ahead and try this one on for you. Okay, so this is the dress. It really is a dress because here, you can, it's like coming down to my knees. I actually envisioned this more as like a t-shirt, but I guess I did um, read that it was a t-shirt dress on there. I should have expected more of it. I don't know what I was thinking, but you know what? It is still really cute. I really like it. And yeah, I definitely am um, happy that this is long enough to be an actual dress so I could kind of pull it off as a dress. So I will definitely be wearing this as kind of like a dress, not a t-shirt, which was what I was envisioning. <laughs> like I said, like a million times now. <laughs> But in the end, I still really love this. I love this like neon playboy, playboy, playboy thing going on. Super cute. All right, next one. Okay, so next thing I got this, uh, another playboy t-shirt. I think I got two playboy t-shirt and a hoodie and sweats. But let's just go through the t-shirt first. So this is another t-shirt dress cause I, Yep, it's another t-shirt dress, so I just don't want to disappoint myself by going to, oh, this one's a shirt, but it's like more of a dress again. But here is the second one. This is more of um, white with silver going on here. And this is what the back of it looks like. I really like it. I think I might honestly get one of them altered to be a t-shirt or something because like they weren't too expensive um so i wouldn't mind it like getting altered 
Uh, I definitely am really digging this picture at the back though, super California and like, you know, all that kind of good stuff. So let me just go ahead and try this on and I'll be right back. All right, so here is the shirt. It has the little logo here and like that. It is again, like a dress. It is good length. It is not too short to be a dress. It, if it was like here, I would say a little too short, but it's right above the knee, so it's good and I actually am really digging this one too. Honestly, I'm not too disappointed that they're more of a dress. I they literally said it in the title. I should have read that more carefully, but I definitely still think these are a cop. Next. Okay, I'm so excited for this one because every time I was looking at white sweats, it's like kind of impossible to get right now and they had this the Playboy one in stock. I was like, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. So let's just open it up. Okay, so this is the sweatpants. It just has like the little logo there and like the X misguided thing. I really like this sweat. It is a bit of a, a terry cloth material, not a, a thick fleece. So it is a bit of a more of a lighter material, if you will. It is a little bit see-through though. So I'm a, I'm a little bit worried about that, but let's just see how see-through it really is. Let's try it on. So these are the sweats. They are very oversized. I think I ordered everything a little bit too big. Again, I have for some reason a pattern of that on this channel. I should really stop doing that. Meanwhile, I also opened up the Playboy necklace set I also got and I absolutely love it. It is so shiny. Um, to keep it like this, there is a lot of hack. People do some clear spray on them or your nail polish to keep them a little bit shiny longer so i'll probably go ahead and try out that hack with this because i definitely want it to last it a while it is so cute um, but the sweatpants i like it but it is well everything so far i like it but they're really big on me i should have thought about the difference in like the model height and myself that's what i did with my first drew house um order too where i was like just kind of like going by her figure not her height and i should have done that as well for the models here but you know i never learn i guess <laughs> anyways let's go ahead and try on other gigantic clothes yay okay, another giant one in the books is my misguided oversized dressed hoodie <laughs> go ahead and open this i got this playboy oversized hoodie this was actually like not that bad, I don't think. <laughs> um, it has this uh, same logo here, but in black. And I got the one that's printed like this. And I'm really loving it. Less talking, let's just put it on. Okay, can I just say this hoodie is gigantic on me, but it is like the most comfiest things ever. I can definitely wear this not as like a dress type. This definitely can be just like an oversized hoodie. And I actually don't mind the fit. It's similar to my first year house order fit. Um, I, it is summertime here, so I won't be like wearing this a lot. Maybe when uh, one of those like random chilly nights we have in Toronto because the weather's always like bipolar here. <laughs> but <clears throat> yeah, this one's really cute. I approve of this one. This is not as bad as the t-shirts in my opinion for the sizing wise, but if you're five, three, size down, size down, size down, then four, US four. US4. That's what I got. You should get like probably two or something if you're kind of like around my height and my weight area. Let's move on to the next. So I got a couple items that were not in the Playboy collection. I just kind of wanted to see um, other things that I could get while I was shopping on that website and I did cop some few other things. So let's just go ahead and change into those. Okay, so next up I have this lounge set and I actually am loving this and it fits great. The length is a little bit too long, but that's okay because I'm just really short. That's always a thing that to deal with, but this is what the pants look like. They have like boots flare at the end and I just love that. I wish, well, I'll just probably get all of these altered to be honest. So I'll just shorten the length on these ones a bit, but I love this little cute lounge set moment. It is like a high-waisted elastic band there. And yeah, this one's really cute. It looks like effortlessly clean, chic, loungy vibes. So I definitely like this. I needed 
a lounge set like this so i'm glad that i have one okay next up i got this um leopard print top i have like a leopard print uh dress and i am really obsessed with it and i thought i'd add another leopard print to my collection it's this um square neck type of it's actually a little bit long but i tucked it in with these high-waisted flare pants i got i ordered these pants in petite version which would um, accommodate my height which is 5'3 and it fit length is perfect so as you can see this one has like a really big flare and these days i've been really loving the boot cut stuff so i am really excited that i finally have something like that in my collection like this whole fit right now is such a vibe i definitely wanted to add some funky new stuff to my closet as you guys can see from my lounge collection and all that goodies so i am very happy with these normal purchases i made on there but i think the most disappointing ones were the Playboy collection just because they're huge on me but it's not the end of the world because I can still go get it altered. So that's all the items I got from Misguided. Overall, they were either super hit or a miss, I would say. The quality wise was pretty decent. The Playboy shirts were a little bit see-through and so and so was the sweatpants and that like this top is a really good material and I really like the material for the flare pants and the lounge stuff was good as well I just think maybe the t-shirt and the playboy stuff was also just a little bit of a disappointment overall and they were the ones that I was looking forward to the most but in the end you know that's what you get for shopping online you get to find out all this kind of jazz and i make these mistakes so you guys don't have to and if you guys are still interested in the collection they are not that bad this is just like my honest opinion i definitely will still be wearing those just getting them a little bit altered with for like size sizing wise so on that note thank you guys for tuning in this was an interesting experience for sure my first misguided opening was not really a try on and more of like a review Last time I ordered from them, I had a really good experience and I didn't have any issues with the quality. I still have those items and I still wear them and nothing has changed, no holes, no anything. But I would say from this batch of the orders I made from Misguided, the Playboy collection is the one that I'm worried about the most. But other than that, this top, those pants, and the lounge set, I'm not worried about those ones at all. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys again. If you have any questions about my experience about this or if you want me another haul from another website, leave your recommendations down below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. And as well as you can find me on my socials at Judy double L double E on TikTok and Instagram. And you guys are already here on my YouTube, Ruby Judy. We're still rocking that OG name. I hope you got a taste of my experience of Misguided. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.